Hey guys, welcome back to yet another amazing day. Uh, I have got to start this episode off with an apology. Uh, we put in the grout on the floor yesterday, and I installed the tools. Unfortunately, I did not realize that one camera had absolutely no battery, and the other camera was completely out of storage space on the SD card. Uh, so I have no footage from yesterday. Um, what I will do instead is put links in the gallery here um, to tell you, you know, what I did, how I did it, why I did it. Uh, but first, let me give you a quick tour of the tools. Starting over here, that's the motor for the pin tumbler, right, which is really nice because that lets me just do that and call it a day, right? Uh, next is the ultrasonic, right, ultrasonic. Uh, collection bucket for the steamer, and then the steamer itself. So you can see that's in and done, and this is a functional workspace now. Uh, there was supposed to be another top coat for the resin, but I'm not 100% sure that I'm happy with what I've got as it is, so I would like to sleep on it, essentially, see what it's going to look like when it's done, when the backsplash is up, when the bench is here, and all of that. And if I decide in the future that it's just absolutely horrible and I hate it, I know that I have fit the tools correctly because that was a bit of a pain that required some finessing, shall we say, with a router and hammer, right? Uh, so today, what we're going to do, I think, is either work on that black splash or the bench, possibly both, probably both. I'll probably start on the bench and we'll put some of the backsplash up, if not all of it. Much, much later. Okay guys, uh, so I am sorry, but it has taken me essentially all day to get to this point. But I'll give you the quick rundown of what's going on. So it turns out I've decided to just go ahead and work on the bench. Um, and see this? This is going to be the top of this pedestal. I've got to come up um, and then, you know, over, extend this area above um, before I put the actual roll top on. But I've also got to raise this up. So what I'm going to be building, and I'll, I'll take better pictures and, and, you know, give explanations as I'm going through. Uh, make sure you check the blog article and galleries for that. But I'm going to make um, risers, essentially, uh, out of something a little more durable. And then the outside faces is going to be made out of this really nice poplar-faced board. Uh, that, I chose that stuff because I know it's going to take the stain uh, correctly, and it should all match up. Uh, the way it needs to be. But I need to take some quick measurements of John because the bench is built to John. Luckily, we're only about an inch at most uh, apart in height, so I'll be able to use it as well. Um, but I do need to measure where this top needs to sit vertically, as well as where the actual bench top itself needs to sit vertically. Uh, give me just a second to set everything up, and I will show you what I mean by that. Okay. So what's important to know is going to be the distance from the ground to the, I guess let's call it the inner top, right? And of course the distance between the ground and the actual work surface of the bench. Because everything else will work itself out. But the way that these are built, uh, they have to be built to their primary user, right? Um, they're designed to be able to be worked at for hours at a stretch. So the bench is a piece of furniture that's going to support you while you work on it, and it's got to be built to the correct heights. So John's be the one uh, working on the bench primarily. It's, it's his bench. We have to build it to him, right? Uh, I need to know where that first top is going to be as well as where the bottom is. So I'll show you how to measure those. So nothing fantastically complicated, but basically knowing that you're going to be having your arms like this, uh, the inside of your armpit is a pretty good reference point. So if you hold your shoulders out at about 90 degrees, uh, it provides the best leverage in our experience for stone setting, especially with the GRS system that John's got here. So it looks like what we're going to do is we're going to have the top of the bench itself about 41 inches off the ground. Uh, we'll have somewhere between a 6 and 7 inch gap between the top here and the top here. Right, everything else should work itself out accordingly. With 
that assembled, I can get a proper look at what's going on here and start cutting pieces. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> So these are cut. It looks like a pile of boards at the moment, uh, but these, right, made of, um, I guess, plywood, I don't know, uh, are the internal actual under supports, and then these are the new faces. Uh, they are built so that they will perfectly line up, and the feet will actually essentially be double wide. Um, but this way, everything is actually sitting on the ground. Like there's a full pillar here, instead of relying on the tensile strength of nails or screws or something to hold the weight of the piece up. I'm going to flip this, I guess, and see how well I did my job. <laughs> Two new pedestals. For the more eagle-eyed amongst you, you'll notice two things. First, I've been whacking on these things with a rawhide mallet. Uh, the reason for that is that these are hand-cut to fit. They're replacements for what obviously was originally here and no longer is. You watched me destroy those with a different hammer. Uh, but I cut them in such a way that they are essentially friction fit. What that means is that the fit is so close that even without fasteners, this thing would actually probably hold itself together. Um, I did that on the idea, on the premise, that the less able it was to wiggle while we're working on it, uh, the lower the likelihood that we'll do something that will break it. So I doubt for a single second that we actually would do anything like that, but that's no reason to not engineer around it as much as possible. I am going to go find the drill that I'm looking for and go ahead and put the screws in here that need to go in. Uh, and then we'll be able to flip this right side up, I think, um, and get on with our lives. But let me find that drill and we'll see where we end up. <laughs> So, these are the new feet. The last thing I gotta do is get this um, center bit made. So I'm gonna run and make that real fast uh, and get it attached, then we can flip this bad boy over. Once that's done, the bottom half of the bench is assembled, more or less. Uh, and everything from here on out occurs with this right side up and, you know, in place. So I can build up on my rock solid base. Give me two minutes, uh, I'm gonna go cut this up. Be right back. I hope this comes out in the video as good as it looks in real life, but there's just absolutely no way that it's ever gonna work out that way. So what you're gonna have to do is come see it in real life as soon as I get done with it. What we got done today, is cutting out this top, I put in this extension bar, and these new pedestal feet. They're actually way better than the ones that I cut out because those were just crap. These are completely solid. Um, I think I've put probably like a million pins and probably four billion screws in them, so this thing is not going anywhere. Behind me, uh, very quietly all day, John has been working on this backsplash, right? Um, and unfortunately it's late and I'm tired, and so is John. So. What we're gonna do is pick that up again tomorrow. We'll finish up that backsplash, we'll get the top put on here. Maybe not all together, your head might explode. We'll figure it out, right? But for now, uh, click here to see the high resolution gallery of pictures while we were doing this, and a better explanation of what I was doing when I was cutting all these boards, and why I did what I did, and all that kind of thing, right? 
Uh, click here to see the next video. We'd love to hear your comments down in the comment section. Remember to like the video and subscribe so you'll automatically get a new, uh, notified of the new one, right? And until next time, we will see you. Thank <music> you.